In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create captivating movies and videos like this with a free AI tool. And this entire video is going to be really exciting where we will be creating a sci-fi film like this. In a high-tech lab, Aurora, a compassionate robot, carefully tends to human embryos, infusing them with the essence of both machine and humanity. Years pass, and the babies grow under Aurora's guidance, developing a unique blend of technological prowess and emotional depth. So make sure you stick around with me till the end, and for now, let's begin with the tutorial. Step one. Creating the story and the script for videos. For this, we are going to leverage ChatGPT 3.5. I give me give a short story like here. I have mentioned a robot who turns human embryos into human babies and grows them as a mother and create a new world of human robot. And then I specify the number of words here. I have specified 300 words and just go to the send message option. Now I have got my entire story ready. So I have given my next command as make it short in five scenes. And once I got five different scenes, I have asked ChatGPT to give me the prompt and therefore I have given some nice video generating prompts by ChatGPT for all five scenes. Next step is to create the voiceover for the movie. I just need to copy the scenes individually. There are many text-to-speech softwares. I'm going to use Flicky today. So go to app.flicky.ai and go to this new files option. Here you'll have to go for audio only because we are going to use only the audio. Select the language. There are different languages available. I'll stick to English. You can select different styles. Select empty file and submit. Here you will have to give the text and then you can choose the voiceover from different options. You can select the female voice because I want a female voice. And from here you can get different realistic voice. Now you can continue adding the scenes one after another. Like this, you'll have to do the entire thing. And once this is done, you can go ahead and download it. So once the audio, audio is getting downloaded, let us move forward to the third part where we will be generating the visuals or the scenes. Since we have got the prompts for our visuals, we all we need to do is go to moonvalley.ai. The link will be given in description. Then go to try the beta, beta option. Here, you will be led to the server. You'll have to accept the invitation. If you don't have Discord account, then in that case, you'll have to create that. Once you get into the server, you will see in the left-hand side, first of all, the Moon Valley server has to be selected. And here in the left-hand side, there are different channels. So you can join any of the channels. Then come to this message section, give forward slash and create. Then this section will come. So just select this. Now simply head over to your chat GPT and select the prompt which one you want. Just paste your prompt here. Okay, so along with it, I have added a couple of things. First of all, cinematic, realistic, 4K, sci-fi style. These few things I have added because I am creating a sci-fi movie. If it is a cartoon movie for it, for you, then Cinematic, realistic, and 4K will remain same. Instead of sci-fi style, you can give cartoon style. You can give Disney style. Okay. So once this is done, then go to the style option. Here you have different type of styles. If you are creating an animation movie, go for this 3D animation style. But since mine one is quite realistic, serious sci-fi movie, so I'm going for the reali realism style. Then duration. Here as per... Uh, your requirement you can go for the duration the more will be duration the more time it will be taking for the video to get generated once this is done you see here are five more things which you can add like you can add an image you can add camera movement you can add model version you can have, add negative prompt and even you can give a seed number okay seed number is only a number which will identify which will help the server to identify that you want the similar setup or similar kind of video near future you can use the same seed number to make the server understand that all other prompt um, styles should remain same at this moment i am not going into these things i am simply going to enter and wait for my video to get generated like this you will have to generate 
scene by scene, create the scenes one by one the same way I have shown you. For image to video, come again to the message section, give forward slash. And this time we will be not going for that create uh, option, we'll be going for this animate option instead. And then we will just have to drag and drop the image you want to animate, it could be any image. Then go to this motion option, as soon as I click it, there will be two options, low or high, I will select high. Next, there are three options, you can give camera movement, I am giving zoom out. See the negative prompts, it's up to you, you may use or may not. Once you're done, just select somewhere outside and do enter your from. It will take a little while. So this was the video you can see. This was a video which was generated. Okay. So if you like it, you can go ahead and download from this top right hand side corner. This is how you download the videos and you can create the video out of image. Okay. So no, now we are at the last stage of our video creation where we will be creating the video final video right so for this you can use any basic video editor i am using filmora 12 so go to this new project option if you're using filmora 12 let me just go ahead and import all my files drag and drop it here and let it get imported then click somewhere outside now first things first i need to bring the audio because our storyline should follow our scenes should follow the audio right so as the audio goes you will have to one by one bring all the scenes now here is one thing these scenes are really short so what i need to do is i need to right click on this and copy it then i need to bring the playhead at the end of the clip you can expand the scale by clicking on by dragging this double so make sure it is at the end and then again right click and paste it. Now what I'll do is I'll double click on this, go to speed option and reverse speed. That way what will happen where this previous clip will stop, this second clip will start from there. Okay, so I need to bring a movement. So for this what I'll do is I will right click again, go to crop and zoom option. Okay, here I'll go to pan and zoom option. So here... I will just do a reverse. I want to zoom out, right? So I will start from here and I will end to the complete screen. Okay, and then apply. Now if I check. Okay, so like this, we will have to bring the other videos as well. Like this, okay? Now, few more things. You need to bring some layer in between. Therefore, we need some transitions. So go to this transition option here you get different types of transitions so from here you can choose any but preferably you should go for the free options this is a very nice effect if you want to reduce the size you can just drag from either of the sides and it will get okay so like this you can do it so we have different trending ones you can just drag and drop as per the need now next thing which I want to show you which you can add is another thing if you want any effect you can go to this effect effect option and you can go to this video effects and there are so many different effects okay you can just drag and drop the effect on a separate layer so that the control is in your hand you see if I double click on this I can reduce or increase the op opacity right i can even do one thing i can just keep the opacity little low very low and then add a keyframe then after some time i can add another keyframe and increase the opacity to a certain level then after that again i will add another keyframe and increase the certain level like this you can keep increasing and adding keyframes so that it gradually increases towards the end and then finally when you will reach to the final point just give a final uh, touch and just increase the keyframe to the highest okay now if I play it see how it is increasing okay so you you can you can uh, take n number of effects. You can even give two effects together. I can double click and reduce and increase the entire opacity. 
or you can slowly and gradually increase or decrease it as per the scene okay so this is second thing see it needs a little bit of creativity you see when you will be creating a story you have to add some creativity in it right so there are so many stickers if you go to sticker you get different types of stickers now if you want to use these i have created another sci-fi movie last time you can get that link in the description as well as to the right hand side corner in i button please go ahead and watch that if you want to give a nice sound effect go to this audio option go to sound effects you can uh, use these are very small sound effects so that even will not become a hindrance for your youtube video to get monetized any sound even if that is copyrighted if it is within 15 seconds means less than 15 seconds long then also you are is free uh, don't use all these uh, paid things okay please filter it by free and still you get so many options right the audios like this you'll have to just drag and drop it and then you have you can double click and adjust the volume or fade in fade out sound balance also so this is how it is so after all these things once effect transition stickers vfx sound effect everything is done you need to go to this export button and you need to change the file name you need to select the directory and then you'll have to go to this quality has to be higher and other settings you don't have to really do anything so it's simply export it and after all this this is the final movie In a high-tech lab, Aurora, a compassionate robot, carefully tends to human embryos, infusing them with the essence of both machine and humanity. Years pass, and the babies grow under Aurora's guidance, developing a unique blend of technological prowess and emotional depth. I'm Aurora, Model 7X AR1, a human mother I nurture my child by teaching values and compassion. Aurora nurtures them, teaching values of compassion and creativity. fostering a harmonious coexistence between the worlds of circuits and emotions the hybrids mature building a world where advanced technology and human interaction seamlessly blend forming cities that reflect their dual nature together they embrace diversity celebrating their differences and establishing a society where innovation thrives guided by aurora's legacy of love nurturing and the powerful fusion of human spirit with technological marvels and if you want to know different models different ai tools please do visit www.vacpmedia.in where we have created a comprehensive course for you all which is getting an early bird offer as well at this moment so guys if you like this video please 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 do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and please consider to give me a like one small request please do share my content with your friends and family so that i can thrive in every single day to create new videos like this for you all thank you so very much for staying here with me i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe and stay legendary